you have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Dan, thank you so much for your request. You are bringing something new down the rabbit hole by the name of Raised by Owls. And the song that we're doing today, though, is the dark and twisted realm in which Fred Durst resides. Ooh, what a title. I can't wait to get into this. Thank you so much, Dan, for bringing Raised by Owls down the rabbit hole. Dan, thank you so much for bringing something new down the rabbit hole. The title of the song sounds amazing, and the title of the band sounds pretty cool, too, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. So here... Oh, sorry. Sorry, go. I, you were going to say something? I didn't no, know you were. I'm not. I'm not going to say something. No. Okay, I'll restart that. Three, two, one. I'll change it up. Dan, thank you so much for giving us a little write-up about this amazing band that's coming down the rabbit hole and a very intriguing title to start us off with, eh? Mm. Okay, so the genre we're jumping into is comedy slash death metal. And they kind of will remind you about the Black Dahlia Murder or Behemoth or Entombed. Two of those bands I know very well, and they're great. And this song is eccentric, full of humor. Following their viral success, the UK metal band Raised by Owls are excited to announce the release of their new single, The Dark and Twisted Realm, in which Fred Durst resides. Ooh. You actually didn't know who Fred Durst was, but you were still intrigued by the title, and then now we know it's Limp Bizkit singer, right? That's really cool. So this single comes up as a run-up to their brand new album release on Friday 3rd, May 2024, Volume 3, The Satirical Verses. Sounds like it, eh? <laughs> Sounds very satirical. This song is about Fred Durst, not as you know him, but as an ancient malevolent entity dwelling in a dark and twisted realm parallel to our own, explains Sam, a member of Raised by Owls. His existence is fueled by the salty tears of heavy metal elitists who dare to challenge the true power of the mighty Limbiscuit. Picture this. <laughs> what if Fred Durst was akin to Vecna from Stranger Things? That's the vibe we're channeling here. That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is insane. It's really funny because I didn't know who Fred Durst was, but while watching, li reading the title of this, I definitely got a um, vibe of the all the book titles from a series of unfortunate events and right. how they were kind of brought out. So that um, explanation there from um, the band is, is so on point with that. Definitely. So to continue on, the dark and twisted realm in which Fred Durst resides is an audacious blend of heavy, certain to intrigue fans of bands like The Black Dahlia Murder, Behemoth, and Entombed, as mentioned before. With its heavy wrists, intense rhythm, and a storyline that fuses reality with fantasy, the single is a bold testament to Raised by Owl's unique vision and their ability for pushing boundaries within the metal genre often incorporating elements of humor and surprise into their work this new release is no exception and promises to be a strong addition to the repertoire appealing to both old fans and newcomers alike and we Ooh. are newcomers right now we are raised by owls invites you to dive into this surreal narrative and experience a side of fred durst you've never imagined before the dark and twisted realm in which fred durst resides is available for streaming and download on all major music platforms Right before getting into the song now, we are just going to announce the lineup so we all know who Raised by Owls is on End of the Chrome. Okay, so Sam is actually the vocalist. We have oh. Alex on the guitars and backup vocals. We have Mark on the guitar, Tobias on the bass, and Lee on the drums. Hello, everyone. Can't wait to check out what you got in store for us. Chronicans, I'm so excited to have Raised by Owls coming down the rabbit hole. That was an amazing write-up, Dan. I can't wait Thank to you. see what this band is going to be all about. Because, honestly, you've given them so much hype. They look like... They're looking great. They're looking they look like Limp Biscuit mixed with the insane clown posse right now from afar. <laughs> they do. So this is going to be such a treat to get into being humorous while still being black metal. I can't wait to see how they put this into action. If you guys are as excited to have Raised by Owls come down the rabbit hole and you really love this band, remember to head over to their channel, give them some love, give them support, because they just released this new album. Yeah, I can't wait to see this as well. I really love Fred Durst, so I hope they kind of give a little homage to him with the way that they also perform the music as well. Okay, Absolutely. here we go. Are you ready? Two, three, two, one. Welcome to Face 
facial expressions already. I don't think they're gonna capture it. Maybe they do. Maybe they do capture the lyrics. Because I no. Diaz. No. 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 I, I have to say it sounds amazing. I'm so intrigued by the story that I wish I could understand the lyrics yeah. a little better. But the vocalist actually sounds amazing and it really fits this type of music. It really and does. I know y'all are saying this is comedy, but if you weren't looking at the the video it wouldn't have maybe necessarily had the comedic it would flair just have it just would have felt like the metal flair amazing metal flair like you're saying it just feels like death metal yeah so i really wish i knew what the lyrics were saying because to go with the video and like the constant like or whatever they're doing no it, kidding yeah, yeah. right because they're doing these exact these movements and it makes me wonder if they're like almost like mimicking yeah because i think that's keep roll and roll and roll that's one of his right, songs. so i think everything is. they're doing is they're fully embodying what he's done in his music videos because they even have the look Absolutely. where it's the same hat as his and like i think from my way as well so here we go that's so cool yeah it's, it's great <laughs> uh oh here we go
love that. I still <laughs> <laughs> we can see through the blur! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Raised by owls, that was them, y'all. How was your first experience with that? Oh my goodness. I, I love this. There was... um. A couple lyrics that I could pick out here and there, but not enough to really put the, like, the whole story, the story together. together. So right. that write-up was really um, helpful. It was really helpful to know kind of what this was about more. And at least they do have the lyrics for if you did want to take the time to look into yeah, it. They do right have there, the lyrics so there for you. And that was the one thing I was suggesting during the reaction is like man i wish we could see the lyrics but the fact that you guys already have it then there you go you already set us up so just do your homework and you actually could find out what's really being said but the whole time this was happening i was caught in between do they like limb biscuit or not yeah <laughs> and there's fred nurse like a an idol for them or not like because it's satirical so i guess it's yes. not but also I kind of think they do like them, but not. And it's just to make fun of. But if you're being made fun of, too, you did something right. You still were memorable. Absolutely. And, like, I have to say, like, there was um the the some the Black Delilah and a couple of other bands. Black that, Dahlia Murder. That, yeah. Black, Dahlia, Black Dahlia Murder and yeah. a couple other bands Behemoth. that were mentioned. But I don't really know those bands all that well. Right. Yeah, but when know, I don't. was watching them, because the bands that I know that they were really giving me kind the of vibes the of? vibes of was like Kiss, Tenacious D. Yeah. Um, like a little bit of if if um, yeah, they definitely have a kiss because of the aesthetics. The aesthetic there too, right? of it. Um, I thought of ICP a bit. Kind of like <laughs> um. Oh my goodness, Weird Al Yankovic, but metal. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So like it, that's kind of felt the co comedic flair. Because I felt the comedic flair, especially yeah. that you would get from like a Weird Al kind of style. But that's like the satiricalness of it, yeah. The satiricalness of it, but yeah. like super death metal all yes. at the same time. So it gives you. For the people who don't like Weird Al because of his style of music, this would be another way to get that same humor and satirical with the joy sound, with loveliness of a metal band. Absolutely, and the guitarist uh, was phenomenal. The basses was insane. I love but his the, green strings. The green strings really stood out. Yeah, for me. so um, cool. But the drummer this entire time. Oh yeah. Just that consistency right off the bat. Speed, right off the bat. Like, mm. absolutely phenomenal. Almost like a metal chord up of a uh, drum style. Yeah, felt like. very, very yeah. similar to that. So, like, those are the bands that I know that this really inspired, like, got me thinking of. And I can see why they're saying, like, this is going to be something that is going to be really loved by our older fans, but also bring in a new fan base because they are kind of hitting those other um, bands that people would know as well without... It was a it was it was yeah. like going down memory lane for me Absolutely. because I actually had those CDs growing up. Those are some of the only ones I actually had. So like for me, it was like, well, I did like it because I had it. And Absolutely. like that's why I was like, I hope we're not just gonna shit on him the whole time because I already know he gets shit on all the time. But that's the funniest part because he's a perfect guy to be satirically out because I, I know I, what he's done as well. I'm getting really, really behind it. And I don't really know any much about him. I know like I know the song "Roll and Roll and Roll." Everyone knows that song. It's not easy to work with, right? Either and oh interesting yeah so it was really cool i thought it was funny that they had a full-size cardboard cutout of him that they went from shoes to top and just like i do see now like the um killer clown fred durst kind of vibe at oh, the very yeah. beginning yeah so like that was really cool to see and then um the way they touched up that uh that poor cardboard cutout though i tell you so like but this was a ton of fun and such technically sound band while still having so much fun together it was a hoot. It was a hoot. So I hope you guys liked Raised by <laughs> Owls. It was a great time for us. And if you want to see more, please hit that like button. Go to their channel and give them a subscription because this was great fun. And if you like Limp Biscuit or if you don't, I kind of want to know that yeah. too. So I'm not the only one scratching my head. All right. Love you guys. We are heading out now. Thank you so much, Dan Kronikins. Peace and love. Peace and love, everyone. God bless. Take care and bye for now. You are now exiting Enter the Chronics Rabbit Hole. Thanks for your participation. Make sure to follow, subscribe, and put on notifications. We will see you all next time. Stay tuned, tell your friends about us, and God bless. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you like this channel, remember to subscribe. 
right here. And if you want to subscribe to the artist that you just heard, remember, it is right here. And if you're excited to see another video that we think you might like, click here. Thank you so much, Chronicles, for making it this far. We love you so much.